morning, welcome to our 2020 virtual open morning. We hope it gives you a feel for our school and that it can complement what you may already know. Of course, this new school year has been different to all others and even in our 444 year history, we've not sampled anything like it. And to complement the, the difference that there's been, only yesterday the Education Minister for Schools, the Right Honourable Nick Gibb MP, visited the school. And when he was here, he said, what a wonderful school this is, full of ambition, and it's what a British school should look like in the future. We were, of course, very pleased to hear that. This morning on, on the virtual tour, hopefully you will see wonderful facilities as we prepare our young people for the future. And after seven years with us, they are ready to attend the most prestigious universities around this country and beyond and they've developed at the same time the academic and the soft skills that will become increasingly important for the future workplace. You will also meet two students, Max and Akimani, at opposite ends of their journey through the school. Max is in year 13 and looking to the future beyond school. Akimani has been with us now for three weeks and is looking forward to the first term in his seven years with us. Ni hao, what do you Hi. My name is Kemeni and I'm in Form 7C. I started Dartmouth Grammar about two weeks ago. On my induction day, I walked into the school and I was greeted by a lot of friendly faces. I knew that Dartmouth Grammar would be a great school. And I'm not wrong, it is. On our first day, we were greeted by Mr Oakes when we went into assembly. He spoke about expectations and introduction to year 7 life. After that, we went into our form rooms and then we played a memory game with Mr Collins. It was really fun because I got to know more facts about him. In September 2021, your son will learn either Japanese or Chinese as a beginner. They will then choose a second language in year eight from the usual array of French, German, Spanish or Latin. Please do have a look on our website at the Twitter feed or the Heads Termly newsletter to get a visual representation of the international life of our school. We are also a specialist science college and every year more than 100 students go on to university to study medicine or the sciences. And most recently of all, we've become a leading national centre for excellence for the teaching and learning of computer science. All schools must focus on the future and you cannot focus on the future by simply doing what you've always done in the past. That of course would be a nonsense. But there is of course a problem with this in that we don't actually know for certain what the future will look like. Times are changing. If you can just think back 50 years, 50 years ago computers had to be built inside of rooms because they were so large. But now in 2020 we are simply just a component in a small interconnected world and we must resist losing control of that technology. Of course, cyborgs and artificial intelligence will become increasingly important. But at this school, we believe in emotional intelligence, where families rediscover the importance of talking, of eye contact, and of even being in the same room. Employers already search for confidence and resilience. And it is these soft skills that schools looking to the future must really focus on and also to develop students who can recover from setbacks and disappointments so that they will be able to engage confidently in their own futures. please be aware that we expect our students to be actively involved in their education. Any walk down a real or virtual corridor 
will show happy students keen to be involved. Our teachers love their subjects and their enthusiasm goes beyond the classroom. It's there in the evenings and at the weekend and we value that highly. As a parent myself, I remember that transition into big school is really important and we have a block dedicated for Year 7s where the majority of their lessons are held. We hand select Year 7 tutors who look after the students who are joining us. They give praise and encouragement. So one thing that stood out for me academically has been the sciences. I came to Dartford not really having done a proper science lesson from primary school and I come in and the facilities are fantastic. All the classrooms are well equipped, well organised and it's really led to me uh, gaining a passion for biology which I now want to go on and study at university. I think the teaching styles are excellent. Every lesson is something new, something different. We do language trips to Spain, France, Germany, Italy, as well as sports trips within the United Kingdom and to Barbados. The big thing that stood out for me within the sports is the experiences I've gained. The Saturday mornings at rugby have taught me resilience and respect. To apply to us, you must name us on the secondary common application form which is available from the local authority in which you live. We have further details on the school website or you can contact our admissions office to speak to Dr Kingham or to Mrs Bennett. On behalf of the school, I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking you for your interest in our curriculum, in our successes and our students. And I wish you all the very best with the decisions ahead and hopefully meet some of you in the future.